it's okay, darling. Well, I'm afraid she doesn't look she ripped his trousers. <laughs> you think that's funny, huh? No, no. Brad, radio. She's going to tell us no, no, no. <laughs> Let's have fun at the cameraman's expense. I failed to see the humor in that all together. Thank you very much. Right on, other side, other side. It took 10 years of lobbying, but Wilson managed to have this 1,100-acre piece of jungle declared a wildlife refuge. The largest monkeys found in the Americas, howlers have a specially evolved bone in their throats, which allows them to emit the loudest cry of any primate on Earth, a cry that can be heard from as far away as four miles. trail here are the bulls. We just heard them growling on the other side of this little ridge. Okay, I think I see the troop up ahead here. This is my troop. And here they are. They, they move around right around uh, this little patch of dry forest here. They can move a couple of miles in a single day. This is the bull up there. You can tell by his white testicles. See him hanging up there? The testicles are him. Both. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Get over here. You're not going to... We got babies, juveniles, and they're all hanging out right here with the bull. This is a magnificent troop. One of the more nervous species of primates, howlers are famous for urinating and defecating in response to changes in their environment, such as the sudden appearance of humans. Gonna come right over us here. Now be careful, they're, uh, they're letting us know that she's not all that happy with our presence here. Let's get them to talk for us. Okay, I'm gonna talk to these males. You know, I could use some help with this. You know, if we could, if we could get everybody to howl with me here, um, we might get a, a, a lion-sized response out of them. Go, How Jerry. do you guys feel? I'll Good. count to right. three, and we're going to do it, okay? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> that was pretty good. Not, not that. Okay, they're, they're laughing is what they're doing. You notice the males have white testicles, and the Indian lore goes back to in several hundred years, and what the locals say about this monkey is that originally they were all white, and they were out making a bunch of noise and howling, and God said, if you don't stop making noise, I'm going to throw a lightning bolt at you. The howler monkeys looked up at God and, oh, oh, oh. so he threw a lightning bolt down, and of course the monkeys all grabbed their private parts and got scorched everywhere but there. Story. <laughs> Howlers eat more leaves than any other monkey in the Americas. If necessary, they can survive for several weeks eating nothing but leaves because their complex stomachs allow them to convert leaf fiber into energy. Like many other species of monkeys, howlers have a specially adapted tail that allows them to grasp tree limbs and hang with their hands free. I'm getting ready to climb into the tree and get a few shots with the, uh, the little high eight camera. I'm going to climb my way into this tree, climb up it and try to get on the same level as the monkeys and see if I can get some shots from their level without disturbing them, hopefully. This is the first time I've ever seen anybody climb up in a tree full of howler monkeys. And get this close, they're, they're not really all that upset. This one with his little baby nursing doesn't seem to mind me. There it's still. Oh, that's adorable. I know. <laughs> this big male's moving down. There's a little bit of a threatening pose over there on that big male on your right, John. He's coming at you there for a minute with his hair up. That's the male now, the one that's growling. The females have stopped twirling. And you hit the one that's, ooh, 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 ooh. That's the big male. I'm not mad at you. You mad at me? That big male's just coming down the branch here. He's threatening John. 
You might be able to get him from over here. Boy, he's, he's pissed. All right, they're moving to another tree now. We're losing them. You see this little one on the back of this one, right? Well, John, did you admit defeat? The monkey's outsmarted you. Well, yeah. Thanks to Wilson's efforts, the government has adopted new policies which protect the environment, and local villagers have gained a greater appreciation for the value of their fragile surroundings. Well, I sure am glad you guys came down here, and this is a big thrill for me, and to get this close to a troop of howler monkeys and enjoy this the way we have, and maybe give you a little taste of what it's like to be out here in the jungle with us with the wild animals, enjoy it with us, appreciate it, and get the idea that we're all gonna have to work together to keep this in the future and manage it well and keep these animals with us here on the planet.